find yourself resharpening this tip quite a bit. some pretty good flakes out of there. No braiding. The angle of my tool is actually somewhere like that. So I want the angle of force to be in line with the plane of this piece and I'm basically pushing in like this I'm using it between the legs generating good force and getting good flakes there we go now you can see what's going on here we're digging in to the meat right here and that's very important. That's how we get the hollow ground edge is by digging in deep. That's why I'm setting these, these recessed platforms up recessed well back away from the edge. You can see also as we're working our way down this edge this is where we stopped and what's going on right here is we're, we lost about an eighth of an inch here so we're digging in about an eighth of an inch deep and then removing our flakes that gives us a good heavy bulb. I'm going to stop talking and start focusing in on this so I don't make any stupid mistakes. might notice that some of these flakes are already creating the uh, hollow ground or Z flake effect. You can see where they're tearing off down in here. And you can see where the mass that we haven't removed is quite different. See how big that flake is. And again, we have our square ended platform. Each of these flakes has to be very carefully prepared. There is no rushing through this. You rush through it, you're going to get a crappy looking point. That's really all there is to it. So, my take is take your time and pay attention to what you're doing 
and make each individual flake a work of art all on its own if you can because after putting so much time in one of these, the last thing you want to do is get in a hurry now and screw things up. Normally I'd hammer this tip down, but because it's late at night and I'm working in the shed and the kids are in bed, uh, I have to file it and waste all this copper, otherwise I'd just hammer it. Let's see how we're doing here. See how we're digging in through here. And we'll continue on down to about right here, and then I'm going to come in from the base to match it, and that's how we're going to get the flare on the basal end. I had a guy ask me one time, he said, well, you can get <coughs> short flakes off of one of those platforms, but how about a long one? There's the answer. I get longer flakes this way, actually. Especially on Obsidian, you can really get these things tearing. I get pressure flakes in excess of two inches long and some of them half an inch wide pretty much all the time on these larger pieces. And that's with antler. You could use copper or whatever. Uh, that's what we gotta watch out for. Platform wasn't deep enough so it slipped. I'm going to go ahead and play it safe and come in from come in from the base here and meet up with these first flake's going to come off a little bit shallower all right <coughs> that right there See it went <clears throat> pretty far all, all the way across from here to here. Step over next to it, take one down, come back underneath it, hook in, go up. This time I'm trying to dig in deep. Get going here again. We're gonna apply pressure straight in. Right, try it again. A little bit better. 